Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are, whenever you are. My name is Ben, and this is How to Build an RPG in Game Maker tutorial number four. And I'm pretty excited because today we're going to be doing some animation and a little bit of code as well that'll teach you how to deal with sprites in your objects. But first, let's jump right into the animation. I've created a kind of a simple four keyframe animation that I'm going to teach you how to do today because I don't want to get too much into it. If you want to learn more about animation, there are tutorials on that. I'm going to teach you the basics that you would need to build a game like this with a more kind of pixelated style. I don't know if you've ever played Legend of Dungeon. If you haven't, I would go look it up. It's a game built with Unity and I kind of like their style so it's going to be very similar to that style. So the first thing we're going to want to do is duplicate the sprite player and we'll name this uh, sprite player, let's just call it stand, okay? And we're going to edit this sprite. Ooh, add some leftover from when I was uh, practicing earlier. Go into transform up here and let's uh, resize the canvas to 48 by 32. I think this is going to look best in our situation. We'll have to mess around with the enemies a little bit and how they work later too. But Okay, double click on the image, come in here, and let's just give this a generic green color for the background. Okay, let's grab a dark color here and draw a square on your screen. Out like that. Looks pretty good. Okay, you want it to be kind of centered. And now we're going to draw another square. And we're going to do it probably about here. Okay, so you can see we've got like a little body and two legs. You want to make sure that these legs are two pixels thick. You can see that they are. And now we're going to need to do, let's give him some pants, right? Let's go with kind of a darker blue for his jeans. So he's wearing jeans in an RPG game. That doesn't really make sense, I guess, but I don't I don't care. It's a futuristic RPG. Let's give him a blue shirt. Just a light blue shirt. Now we need to grab a skin tone. Now what I would recommend for a skin tone is to get kind of like a get kind of a, a, a really, really light looking orange. When I say light, I mean low on its saturation. So as, instead of being further this direction, you want to be closer to the center of the circle here. And we'll go a little bit lighter like that. And draw some face here. I'm going to make his head bigger. I made his body too fat, so. Okay. Now you can just go dark with that same color probably. I might change it a little bit, actually. You want to go get a darker color, and that's going to be like his hair color. And I'm just going to do this. Let's go here, come down here, and give him a little bit of a sideburn like that looking pretty cool. And I'm going to grab our green color, which is actually our transparent color, and I'm going to draw this way a little bit and give him kind of like an Elvis thing. Take out that. Well, actually, let's just do this. Add in a little extra here. I'll give you a second to get caught up if you need to. I'm going to go in and draw the eyes. Now the eyes, one of them, because of the perspective that we're kind of drawing, which is not a real perspective. I mean, we've got his head at kind of a side view, but his legs are straight on. But trust me on this, it'll look okay with the style that we're going for. But because of the perspective, I always make the other eye not as thick. You can do it however you want if you want to do them the same size. Whatever. I like to make this one not as thick because from far away, it makes it look like you can only see part of that eye. And let's, uh, let's, uh, Come over here and grab a lighter gray color. We're going to give him a shield too. And 
draw out a little bit to show like a shoulder here. Okay, now an important thing is you don't want the shield to cover um, to cover his leg at all. I guess you technically can, but it's just going to make it harder when you're trying to animate this guy. So let's give him a shoulder over here. And we're going to want to make his uh, arm probably about as... Dang, our guy's kind of fat, isn't he? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab this. I'm going to make him just a little bit skinnier. Probably about two, like that. So I just selected half of him and drug it in. Now I'm going to bring this back a little bit. You know what? I'm actually going to do that one more time. Use your... Uh, artist license a little bit on this so you can get this just right. What I'm thinking ahead for is I want to make sure he's got kind of a sh uh, I want to make sure he has a sword too. So let's get a darker gray color and I'm gonna draw we'll see how this works um, like the crest of this guy's family or whatever. Kind of like an eagle looking thing. You can draw whatever you want on there. Make it look awesome, make me proud. Okay, now we're gonna start drawing the sword. And let's go. Oh, let's see. Oh, I see what's going on. There we go. It's going to look better. Nothing too fancy there. I'm actually going to make this gray just a little bit lighter on the sword. I want it to uh, stand out a little bit from the shield. So it doesn't look exactly the same and maybe make that hilt a little darker. Then the shield. Okay, so we got a basic guy there. I mean, that looks pretty awesome, right? Looks kind of like Wind Waker's, uh, the, the Link from Wind Waker, only with blue clothes, practically, I guess. So, um, a couple things that you wanna make sure you do. First of all, this is for the animation part. You wanna make sure that you leave one, at least one pixel space up here abo up above and then you want his feet to be exactly on the ground. So now what we're going to do is we're going to okay we want to center this guy and then set the Y to 24 again and that's going to be crucial for when we're flipping this image around. Actually set the Y to 32 and make him transparent. Now we're going to want to duplicate that image and we're going to name this one Sprite Player Run. We'll edit it, come into this image, and we're going to change this image just a little bit. What we're going to do is we're going to grab this leg and bring it out a little bit like this, and then take this off the ground just a little bit. So we've got, you know, we've moved this leg. In fact, there's an easier way to do that. I'll show you how. Let's pretend that we've got this before. So what we're going to do is we're going to take off the very bottom one. And then we're going to come over here and we're going to select the leg, except for a little square at the bottom. We're just going to move that over. That's the same thing that I did. So basically you just want it to look like this. Now we're going to press the green check mark. We're going to control C, control V, copy and paste that image and come into the second image. So you can see now we've got two images in the same sprite. Um, so they have an image index. This one's image index is zero, this one's image index is one. And you've got an animation speed over here. And this is a preview for your animation. But the thing is, 
it's the same image. So it's switching between those two images, but it doesn't look like it's doing anything because they're the same image. So let's fix that. So now what we're going to want to do is we're going to grab this leg and put it down on the ground like that. But it's still kind of over. And this leg over here, we're going to move up two pixels like that. So kind of cut him off there, amputate that section of his leg. That's kind of morbid. And then draw two more like this. That way. So you, like the square that was right here, just put it right here. Okay? Perfect. Now you can see over here on this side, he's kind of animating. It looks like he's running, but it kind of looks like a crappy animation. And not that this animation is going to be amazing when we're done with it anyways, but that looks really bad. So copy this image again and come into our uh, third one here. Now we're going to bring this leg forward like this. Okay. And we're going to draw a square right here. So that one's forward now, and we want to bring this leg back, like this. So hopefully you're, I mean, you, you should be following me almost pixel by pixel at this point because it's so important when you're animating uh, images that are so tiny like this to get exact kind of pixel by pixel um, animation stuff. So. Once you've done that, you can see over here, it looks a little better, but it's still missing one keyframe. So let's make sure and copy that one more time and get in our last keyframe. What this one's gonna do is we're gonna put this leg on the ground, and then we're gonna do that thing where we move the box over on this leg, okay? Now that's a pretty good animation right there. And if it was moving fast, you'd be able to see it even better. But one more thing that we're going to do just to make this best is go into your uh, image zero and select the entire player and move him up by one pixel. Chink. And you might have to color this bottom section if it did that thing to you as well. But move him up by one pixel. Now come into image two and grab this one and move him up by one pixel. Now you'll see in our animation he kind of jumps up a little bit and it makes it look a little better so we'll, uh, this must be an issue with the Mac version um, the image speed doesn't seem to be affecting this image very much at all actually but you'll be able to see we'll fix this in the game so press OK. So we've got two images for our player and one thing that you're going to notice is that the perspective of this image is just a little bit different from the perspective of our game which actually won't matter once we fix the enemies once we make their images better but we won't be doing that in that to, or in this tutorial just because we don't really have time but I'll do it in the next one and we can add in some attacking as well but if you look at like old Zelda games you'll notice the perspective in those oh my gosh, is just all over the place. So don't worry too much about it. Your game's going to be fun. Nobody's going to really care about the perspective. As long as you can make the graphics kind of match and look pretty good, they're going to have fun playing it. So come into your player and let's change this image to just the standing image. Okay, and we're going to have to modify our code a little bit. So come into the step event with this execute code open this up. So when we move to the right, there's a couple things that we want to do. First of all, we want to set the sprite index. So the sprite index is whatever sprite is assigned to this object. So we're actually going to change it when you're moving because you don't want to be the standing sprite, you want to be the running sprite. So sprite index equals sprite player run. Now we're going to set the image speed so that it actually animates. So image speed equals 0.2. Okay. Now the last thing we need to do is make sure that when we're moving to the right, the player's facing to the right. So image uh, x scale equals one. So basically, what that does is it just it makes the the sprite face to the right. And I'll show you the counterpart to that in when we're going left. So copy this code down to the left one, Command V, and just do negative one in the image x scale. So basically, what that does is if you're moving to the left it's going to flip the image on the x-axis so that it faces the left direction. Now you don't have to worry about these with up and down so just copy uh, this section over like this. 
you don't have to worry about the up and down. But there's one more thing we do need to worry about. We want to set the sprite back to the standing one when we're not moving. So do if um, not keyboard check bk right. Whoa, I can't type sometimes. Well, uh, probably just when I'm doing these videos is the time where I have the hardest time typing. But okay. So we're going to copy this a couple times just because I don't want to type that whole thing. Okay, I'm going to make this code just a little bit larger here. Now we want to change uh, VK left, VK up, VK down. So the logic behind this code is if you're not pressing any of the arrow keys, if you're not pressing the right one and you're not pressing the left one and you're not pressing the up and you're not pressing down, then we want to do something. What do we want to do? Well, we want to set the image speed to zero and we want to set the sprite index to sprite player stand. Now it's really important, it's really important that you centered this sprite and then set the Y to 32 on this. Because if you didn't, when your guy, when your guy uh, flips, he's going to kind of jump around. It's going to look really weird. You want that right on the center so that when we flip him, it looks normal. Now let's make sure our guy's not in a wall because we changed his origin. So it's possible that he could be standing in a wall and it looks like he's not. So that's good. Let's save this and try it out. Let's see how it looks. Hopefully we did everything right. Okay. Yep, you can see he moves around. He moves kind of fast for his animation. That might be something you'd want to tweak a little bit. That's one thing, that's probably something that I would do. I would, uh, I would change all these fours, maybe like a fine replace four, and make them threes. just so that he doesn't move quite as fast. The enemies are going to move faster than him now. You can change that too. That's just, just you know, that, those are little things that you might want to change in your game because it looks kind of weird when, he, when he's running and going like crazy fast, you know. So, and you can see there are little issues right now with him kind of standing on the enemies. But like I said, once we... Uh, once we get the enemy sprites in and fixed better, then that won't be an issue anymore. So we'll, we'll work on that next time. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. I hope you learned a little bit about animation and that you had some fun making this character because, I mean, look how awesome he is. You can put whatever you want. Maybe, maybe instead of like a bird thing on his shield, you put a dragon or maybe you put a creeper or whatever. But thank you guys for watching. Make sure and like this video. Share it with your friends so that they can learn how to build games as well. You can all build games together. Follow me on Twitter and on Facebook. And I'll have another one coming for you here in, a, here in either tomorrow or the next day. So you guys have a great day. Thanks.